morning, friends. It's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today is Friday and it is time for a weekly update to our savings challenges. So this week, um, we have a couple of things going on. We are on week 41 of um, our weekly savings challenge update and start with the zero out challenge because I don't want to forget the dollar amount. Um, it is $7.14. So for the zero out challenge, um, I always share, it is basically taking that like ones and tens column and making it all zeros in your bank account. So for me this week, that is $7.14. And year to date for the Zero Out Savings Challenge, we have saved $256.08. So um, that is a, a dollar amount that I transfer electronically. So that will be um, an electronic funds transfer. Next, let's look at our $5 bills because I know that there are a few this week. Um, I think I have one for groceries. Do you? I'm trying not to go grocery shopping this next week. I just got a butcher box, so I'm trying to not go buy any groceries. Um, dining out... Dining Out does not have one. I believe five. There is one in the household. And then that should be it. Okay. So we have $10 for our $5 bills. And we're going to add them our vacation envelope. I've got to get myself another vacation envelope because this one is completely filled out and there should be $20 in this envelope when we add these two five. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Alright, so let's update our $5 savings tracker as well. I am starting the process of putting together my 2023 budget planner. Petey says hi and um, setting that all up. I'm going to be filming it when I do it but I'm just sort of like mocking it up what it's going to look like. It's going to be in two different not planners, but I'll have one planner and then I'll have a notebook that I'm going to use because the planner this year did not include enough pages for me to set it up the way that I want to. Okay, so we're going to add $10. We start the 345 So year to date for $5 bills, we've saved $355. Our $5 bills go to our vacation fund. So that is an update on that. Next um, is <clears throat> the 22 in 2022. So this is just my like self-care fund. I'm saving $22. Supposed to be a week, but I took a little break. Um, so last week we saved 22 this week we're going to save 22 dollars for our self-care fund um we're not going to do the penny savings challenge or the rainy day savings challenge um for the 52 week savings challenge so penny rainy day 52 week we're not doing those um i am going to pull another number for the 100 envelope savings challenge so i've got my little kit here and our numbers are in here And the 
number is 11. So we are going to save $11. I'm also going to the emergency fund. And then that brings our total for this month for the 100 envelope challenge to 224. Right, so let's put this away. For the Budget Mom Savings Challenge this week, um, I took a challenge that was supposed to be done twice this month. It's called the Save Your Age Challenge. And um, you're supposed to do it like the 5th and the 20th, which I changed it up to be the 7th and the 21st. But then I decided that doing it twice was going to be a low, very, very low amount saved this month. Um which would not help me reach my goal of 500 in savings this month. So I decided to do it four times this month instead of twice. Um, but you're supposed to save your age by the number of days. So I am sticking to that for the original, but for the two dates that I added, I'm going to do how old I am going by the number of hours. So there's um, a calculator that you use. It's um, calculator.net. And I didn't do this ahead of time. So bear with me. Um, you put in your age. I think. Um, yeah, date of birth. If I have to click this arrow 1,000 times, it's going to be a problem. Okay, so. Okay, so today is... I don't know hour let's just say it's 9 22 and hmm, I should have did this in advance anyway okay so start date we're gonna plug in my birthday and fun fact I was born at 1111. So, if you are at all interested in anything related to numerology, you'll know what 1111 means. Okay, I did this wrong. But that's okay. Okay, going back to the to the age calculator because I can't figure out the, the date one. We'll do that another day. Um, okay, so The number is 20 for this week. Um, I'm just going to process that. We're going to be like, that doesn't make sense. Um, so I did days again, and it's 20. 
for the dollar amount. So that is what we're going to save for the budget mom um, savings challenge this week. And last but not least, because we have not done it in a really long time, um, we're going to pull or roll the dice for Saveopoly and play a little quick round of Saveopoly. Here is my dice, and we're rolling a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Save. I guess I went to jail. I don't gotta get out of free jail card, so I gotta save fifty dollars to get out of jail. I see that in jail. Save fifty dollars to get out. So that's what we're gonna save for fifth for um, Saveopoly. My Saveopoly fund um, goes to my home fund. Same with the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. That also goes to my home fund. So, in summary, this week, we saved $50 for Saveopoly, $22 for our 2022 and 2022, which is our self-care fund, $20 for the Budget Mom Savings Challenge, $10 um, for two $5 bills, $7.14 for the Zero Out Savings Challenge and $11 for the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge. Grand total this week is $1.20 and 14 cents. And when we add that to what we've already saved this month, we are at $3.88.70. So that is our savings for week 41 of our savings challenges. Let me know if you're saving this week. And if you're doing any savings challenges, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.